Hello guys and welcome to another video. Uh, today what we're going to do is uh, we're going to look at our log files that exist on all Linux machines and we're going to try to extract some information from them. And in order to do that we're going to use several commands. We're going to use uh, cat, we're going to use this symbol here which uh, is known as a pipe. We're going to use grep, we're going to use um, cut, we're going to use sort, we're probably going to use unique, and possibly at the end we'll use WC, which stands for word count. So let's get on with it. If you don't know where the log files are kept on your computer, it's pretty simple. They're kept in a directory called log, which in turn is in a directory called var. var. So if we use cd command, change directory command to go into var and log, hit enter and we're in var and log. Okay, I'm going to use list to list all of the logs in that directory. Wow, okay, quite a few. So we have an auth log. That's one that I'm uh, pretty interested in. So let's, uh, let's do this. Okay, the reason I want to look at the auth log, what the auth log does is it logs every time a user uh, tries to connect or authorizes themselves into this, uh, this computer, but also logs every time that um, an authorization fails. So if I hit this, you'll see that this is uh, quite a massive log. It's very, very messy. It's difficult to read. And I want to, um, I just want to filter this a little bit because I want to extract some information uh, that's a little bit easier to read. And what I'm interested in today is people who have failed with a password to get into the computer. Okay, so that might be people who have a user account but have typed their password in incorrectly a couple of times. I really really want to look at these people people who are trying to get into the into the server who don't know a user account and they're trying all kinds of uh, different things root is uh, a user account that does exist but let's uh let's have another look up here a failed invalid user for test okay so someone's tried to get in with the user the username of test so that's what we're going to do we're going to make some do some filters okay we can keep the cat uh, command. Let me actually just clear the screen. Cool. So first we're going to use the cat command. So we're going to take the contents of the auth log and we're going to use the pipe. And what pipe does is it takes the contents of that auth log and puts it into another command. And we're going to use grep. Uh, I noticed when we were looking at the auth log that the lines I'm interested in had the word failed and it was unique to those lines. Okay, so if I do that grep and we give it the, the string failed to look for, it's going to go through all of those lines and it's only going to come back with the uh, lines that have the word failed. Okay, so actually probably going to be better if we use invalid. That's a unique line. Okay. Let's do that. Okay, fantastic. So we can say it says invalid user and then anything that follows are the usernames that somebody has used to try to gain access to my computer. Okay, and they're the ones that I'm interested in. So let's go back to our command. We have cat, we have grep, and we're going to pipe that into another command. Let me uh, actually clear the screen. Okay. Another command, cut. So what cut is going to do, I'm going to give it a delimiter, I think that's a real word, of a space. So anywhere on that list, uh, it'll go through all of the lines and it'll cut them where there's a space. And then I'm going to give it a field to print. And I'm pretty sure that earlier on I counted that where the username uh, was located on those lines is field number 11. So it's the 11th 
uh, end tree, the 11th word or the 11th string in those lines on the list. Okay, let's hit enter. And there we have it. Okay, we have all of the usernames that somebody has used to try to gain access to this server. Well, it's still a bit of a confusing list and I'm sure obviously there are one or two repeats. So I wanna just cut out the repeats because I'm only interested in unique usernames. Okay, so I'm gonna use another pipe and I'm going to give it the command sort. So let me just go through this line again. We're putting all of the information from the auth log into the grep command. The grep is going through those uh, those entries and it's pulling out all of the lines that contain the word invalid. Then we're cutting it wherever there's a space and we're printing out the 11th field, which is the invalid usernames. Then we're gonna sort it alphabetically. There you go. And here you can see that there are definitely, definitely some repeats and I don't want those. So I'm gonna use pipe again and I'm gonna put them into another, put all of that into another command, unique. And what that will do is just cut out any duplicates. So we can see that we sorted it alphabetically. We also sorted it numerically first, then alphabetically. And we can see all of the usernames that people have tried. There's some really interesting ones here. I don't know what that one's about, but there you go. They've tried and they've failed. Okay, so I'm interested to know how many of those are. So I'm gonna use WC, which is word count, and I'm gonna give it um, a dash and an L. And this should just tell me how many lines there are in that list. There we go, 407. So that was pretty easy. In my um, authorization logs, there are 407 different usernames that people have tried in order to try to get into my system through SSH. It's pretty scary, but a lot of these usernames are nothing like the usernames that we uh, that we have on this on this particular server. So they're banging their heads against a wall. And I'm going to give you another example, something that might be very useful to you one day. So I'm going to go back into uh, the log directory and we'll do another list. Because this computer does get uh, quite a lot of attention from outside, um, I've installed a utility called fail to ban. A fail to ban works brilliantly. It uh, it detects if people are trying to get into your system and failing, and uh, if they fail a certain amount of times, they get banned for sometimes only 10 minutes, but uh, you can configure it to, to do what you want. So I've got mine configured so that if somebody fails twice from the same IP address, then they get banned for 24 hours. So in effect, anybody trying to get into my server who shouldn't be trying to get into my server will be banned for 24 hours, they can try twice every 24 hours. It doesn't give them many opportunities. So let's cat the latest fail to ban log. And you'll see that it's pretty huge. Okay, and what I'm interested in is these IP addresses, anything that says banned. So you can see as an example, uh, this IP address tried once, tried twice and failed, so got banned. And that got banned for 24 hours. I'm really interested in this line. So again, we're gonna use uh, the same method we used before. Let's clear the, the screen. I'm gonna use cat, fail to ban. Actually, I've just typed that. There it is. I'm gonna pipe that again into grep. And I'm gonna grep for the word ban. Okay, there we go. Those of you who are very sharp-eyed will have noticed that these words ban are not all on the same line, uh, not all, in the, okay. So I restarted the server uh, two days ago, today's the 22nd, and um, when it restarted, the jails were restarted and uh, some of these bans were, were restored. 
So this interferes with my cutting and, uh, and messing around. So what I'm going to do is we're going to use, so let me clear the screen again. Go back to this, we're going to use grep, but in a negative way. So let me explain what we're doing. Putting all of that log into grep, the first set of grep here, and um, we're looking for the word ban. But we don't want all of those lines because we don't want the ones that say restored. So if I give grep another instruction, dash V, we can Uh, we can cut out all of the lines that say restored. So let's do that. Didn't work. Why not? Let me look at the word restore again. Ah, uh, restore, not restored. Okay, no problem. So we go back to the command, take away the D. Okay, now that's better. So we have a big list all of the entries in the log that just say ban uh, with their IP addresses and it's the IP addresses that I'm interested in I want to make a list of those okay so uh, again we're going to cut and we're going to cut at the spaces again and we're interested in um, don't ask me how I know but I because there are a lot of spaces here the IP address is actually the 16th field in this list. Okay, there we go, a list of IP addresses. So what we can do now is we can pipe that into sort and we can pipe that into unique. Okay, so every time we're going through one of these commands, we're making the list smaller and smaller and we get into what we actually want. Okay, so now I've got a list of unique IP addresses that have tried to gain access to my computer since this log file began, which uh, I think is only about 20 days ago. There are quite a lot. I'm going to just count to see how many there are. Uh, we're using word count and we'll just ask it to look at the lines. Um, okay. 1,300 unique IP addresses that have tried to gain access to my server. It's a little bit scary. So what I really want to do now is uh, I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. Okay, so that's a better font size. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the word count because I don't really want to do that. I'm going to uh, add something to the unique command and if I add dash D that's just going to give us the duplicates so it's going to give us a list of IP addresses uh, that are duplicated on that list so people who've tried to gain access more than once let's run that okay that's great uh, there are quite a few there and I'm really interested in these guys so I'm going to clear the screen and show you what I'm going to do next. I'm going to write that to a text file. Now I'm in the log directory and I don't have permission to create or write anything in that log and I don't want to mess around using sudo. So uh, let's write it to our home directory and we do that by giving it a little tilde and a forward slash and we'll name the file unique IP unique IPs dot txt. Okay, so I hit enter. Looks like nothing happened. But if I go back to my home directory and I make a list, we can see that there is a file here called unique IPs. Okay, I'm going to cap that to make sure it's got something in. And there we have it. I've got a list of all the IP addresses that have in the last 20 days or so tried repeatedly to gain access to my server. And I can have a little bit of fun with those later on. Perhaps I shouldn't say that. What I'm going to do with those is I'm going to blacklist them uh, 
from access uh, from accessing my computer that's what i'm going to do I'm not going to have any fun with them i promise okay guys thanks for watching uh see you again in another video soon bye bye